just heading up here to our little feeding ground we have going for the deer. Hoping maybe that I'll find my first deer shed for the year. So we'll have a look around here and see. My husband has a camera set up here so I can take pictures of the deer in the evenings and mornings and see if any of the bucks have lost their horns yet. When you see one without their horns, you know there's one out here somewhere, so it gets you pretty excited. We found about three or four already this year, so they're dropping them early. It's been kind of a stressful winter for the deer here in the prairies because we had such an early heavy snow. Puts a lot more stress on the deer and causes them to uh, shed their horns a little earlier. So before I go in the house and check out and see what's on the camera, I might just do a little walk through the trees here. There's all sorts of paths that the deers take to come up to the grain and the bale here every night. So it's good places to find deer sheds. So just going to take a quick little walk through the trees here and see if we can find any treasures. So I did about a 20 minute walk here through the through the bush here and checked out all the deer paths but didn't find any treasures today. It's great exercise getting out here and walking in the snow so I know the deer will be dropping their horns month or so so I'll just keep coming out here and checking it out see if I can find one so we have a lot of really nice trees that we've started right from small seedlings here in our yard and the only way to keep them alive in the winter and the fall is to keep them caged because the deer will do a lot of damage to them as well so as you can see we still keep caging them as they're growing until they're old enough to probably survive any feedings that the deer might give them. Sometimes though the bucks, they can be pretty relentless. As you can see here, they got through the cage and they got to the tree and a lot of damage. Not sure how this tree's going to turn out in the spring. It might be a kind of a ugly duckling or it might die. So we'll have to wait and see. It's too bad. It's a pretty nice sized tree. So I got my camera set up on our feeding spot out back here and I spotted this deer this morning and got a little clip of it. So you can see some of the some of the bucks still have their horns. So it's a beautiful day outside, so I think I'm going to take another walk out there and see what I can find. Okay, so I've been out here walking the deer pass for the last two or three weeks, trying to find my first shed. And there it is, one shed, no, two sheds. Check this out. Look at the size, these are nice ones. Right on the path. My husband always says, make sure you take a picture before you pick them up. So there we go. Okay, so let's pick up our first shed. Look at that. That is a nice one. And shed number two. I'll have to hold it way back to get it in the camera. Now, 
question is, is this a match set or not? I'm going to go with the theory that this is a match set. And as I'm walking back to the house, look what else I spotted. That is a broken deer shed. <clears throat> Let's put that one up. Looks like he broke that one off pretty early. But another fine nonetheless. That's three. Good. Pull out this one. Might need to zoom in. How do I hold it like that? Sure, you might get the award for the smallest one this year. Hard to find those little guys. Yes, actually they are. Harder to find. Well, nice job. So this is my husband Preston and I have showed him the sheds that I found today and I just wanted him to confirm whether this is a match set or not. Yes, they are a match set. And how do you know that they're a match set? Well, you look at the bases. Okay. The bases are the same. And also you can look at the grain of the antler and uh, just by the configuration. So it is, in my mind, 100% a match set. And uh, looks like maybe he's an offspring of a uh, deer that used to live in that area in the past. And maybe I'll dig him out and uh, we can compare. For sure. Nice find. Okay. And what about this little guy? Is this something that was uh, a broken uh, deer horn, like when they were younger, or how? Do you yeah, think this one there? has busted this point. It could have been uh, just after the velvet stage, or just in the velvet stage when it was soft. But it's definitely busted, and uh, I would think that this might be from a fawn buck. So nothing too of, big. Yeah. It's very small, so I'm thinking the genetics are really good on it, and uh, he could really turn into a good buck. Nice. Well, these ones are the harder ones to find, for sure. This one was right on the path, so I could have stepped over it easily, but I found it, so that's good. So I was just out here videoing the deer horns with my husband and had a look at my garden, and I can see that these... Deer have been in my raised beds, digging up some of my leaves, probably nibbling at some of the goodies they found under the snow. And it looks like they've been either lying in here or digging up. This is where my asparagus is. So it's kind of a war, a friendly war I have with the deer here. I enjoy them. And obviously it's fun to find their deer sheds, but they can do a lot of damage in your yard as well. So I guess we just have to learn to live together here in harmony.